But so the issue with the paradigms was twofold. One is they weren't a great speaker to begin with, which didn't help. But the bigger problem wasn't that. I think that they could have been okay. The, they were they were put into a, a area that wasn't sealed up and was providing them with way too much. It was The best way I could describe it is it was as if you had created an aperiodic enclosure. For those who don't know what that is, think of it as a lossy... Uh, it, think of it as like a sealed box that's lossy, that air can get in and out of. So it's not a ported box. There's no port tuning to it. But air can move in and out of it freely. However, it's been designed because there's insulation in it, and there's insulation around the vent area of it, so that you don't get the kind of cancellation you typically get at low frequencies. The benefit of this is that it helps to lower the Q of the enclosure when this is done on purpose. But you need to make the lossiness. It's, it needs to be very specific. In this particular case, the guy just designed something that wasn't a great idea, and it was leading to this sort of lossy enclosure.